All right, guys, so we're doing the same thing we did with the equations. It's just that we have these symbols that are telling us which way to shade and what to use a circle or a dot. So remember, we like the variable to be on this side because it's going to tell us what type of dot it is and which way to shade. So if it's pointing to the right, it shades to the right. If there's no uh, line, it's an open circle. And then this is a closed circle. So to solve these, we're just going to go ahead and the number, we want it to move to this side. So that's going to go ahead and become opposite as a minus 28. And we can put this in our calculator. So the symbol is going to stay the same. 24 minus 28, if we put that in the calculator, we get negative 4. And then we have that 2x. Now my last step is going to be to divide by 2. These cancel out, and I'm left with x is less than or equal to, and then I just put this in the calculator, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So when I look at my number line, I know that negative 5 is over here, positive 5 is over here. Now if you want to write the numbers to help you, you can. So 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and then negative 5. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use a closed circle because there's a line under this thing right here. And then I'm going to shade whichever the direction this is pointing. It's pointing to the left. And that's my answer. <clears throat> now, there is some trick questions here. So that's number one. Check. We're good. But I want to go on number six and number nine. There's something that's actually missing because these are supposed to be the trick questions. And what we need to do is put a negative in front of the 8x right here. Let me zoom in so you can see. Put a negative in front of here. You do not have it. You have to add it. And the same thing with the nine. Put a negative right here. So six is supposed to be a negative x. Nine is a negative x number. And then 12 does have the negative x number. That's good. So now, the reason I'm saying this is because these are trick questions. Put a little star next to it. There's a little extra rule. Put a star here. Put a star here. Put a star here. And I'm going to tell you what that little rule is because I'm negative. Right. So let's just solve it the way we would regularly solve it. All right. I want to go ahead and put this 37 to the other side. It becomes opposite. It's a plus 37. So I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 8x is less than. Now, if I put negative 45 plus 37 in my calculator, I'm going to come out with negative 8 like that. Now, there's a rule that says when I divide by a negative 8, all right, we need to flip the sign. So when you divide by a negative x number, so negative x flips the sign. All right, copy this down. So negative x flips the sign. So whenever, only when it's a negative x number, so it's going to be x is greater than, and then put this in the calculator. Just put this negative 8 divided by negative 8 is positive 1. So that flip is very important whenever you divide by the negative. So if I'm looking at my number line, I have 1, a 0, 1, so this is my 1. I'm going to put an open circle, and don't add the line. That's not what I mean by flip. I mean like it just changes direction. So this is my number 1. Put the open circle, and it's pointing. Now it's pointing this way. So it started this direction, but it actually flips because of the special rule. So be very careful with that. Like, for example, this one is going to flip whenever you divide by the 6. So be very careful with that one. Same thing on number 12. All right, these are going to flip the symbol. So this is what we're going to be looking for. Okay, so let's do like number 12. So I have a plus 2. Now if it changes to a minus 2, that doesn't do anything. Subtraction doesn't do anything here. This is negative 2x. I'm going to keep the symbol the same for right now. 8 minus 2, that's just going to be 6. But this is my flip right here. Whenever I have a negative x number, all right, these cancel out. x is now going to flip this way is greater than or equal to, and if I put this in the calculator, it's negative 3. So I'm going to look for my 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. I'm going to put my open circle, and then I shade. Now it's going this way, so I shade it going this way to the right. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, if let's say we have like number eight, let's do this last one. Don't get confused, guys. My x is not negative, so there is no flip here. Right? If I've moved the nine, the opposite of a negative nine is positive nine. Okay. And 24, negative 24 plus 9, put that in the calculator. Uh, I believe you get 15. I hope that's right. Now, my 5x, I'm just going to divide by 5. Do not flip this, all right? My x is going to stay here. My sign is going to stay the same. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 1, 2, 3. Put your circle and shade this way. See, it's only when you have a negative x that you have that special rule. So be careful with that one. And do, 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 do. what else? Let me see. Oh, number 11 was all supposed to. So these are the, the flip ones. All right. And number 11, can you put a negative 4x? So those two are supposed to flip. Put a little star there. I forgot about that one. All right. Once you get it done, you just have an exit ticket. Four questions on the exit ticket. And that's it.